Metal Gear May 2020. There I was. It was 2011. I was watching some good old fashioned Minecraft playthroughs. Long before I had created a, a Minecraft account or a YouTube account or any kind of account, I didn't even have my own phone. I was just enjoying life. Playing my DS, playing the Wii, playing the PS2, whatever I had in front of me. And then my dad brought home something epic. The PlayStation Portable. When dad bought that PSP home, I knew it was only a matter of time before I got my turn to play it. I'm acting like the PSP changed my life. It really didn't. It was I didn't really quite mind that he got it, but I was very happy that he had got one later because then I figured out all the Project Diva games were on there. Oh my god, fucking Miku. Oh my god. For context, my dad is actually the person who started my lifelong gaming addiction. Since my dad was an OG gamer, he would always let us, which is my sister and I, play the video game consoles he would buy, like his DS or his 3DS, and eventually he would buy us our own consoles. In fact, lots of my childhood memories actually come from games that my dad would play while I was in the room. Like when I'm a baby, I'd see those blurry images on the screen, I'd be like, oh, 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 is that the Matrix game? Apparently that game sucked, but let's move on. My dad and I would play the PSP on and off for a couple of months because we only had like two games for it. We had Little Big Planet and some other tactical war game that I never played. My dad played it a lot though. My dad ended up getting a copy of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And this was my first Metal Gear game. Prior to Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, the only Metal Gear related content I've ever like seen was Metal Gear Awesome. Hey Snake, check it! Go sneak that shit! Okay! And some memes that I saw around the internet. When I played Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker... Whew, man, I gotta tell ya. I was really underwhelmed. I mean, it was on the PSP, give me a break. And plus, I didn't have any prior knowledge of Metal Gear Solid, so I didn't even know who, what was going on half the time. In fact, I think I remember skipping most of the story because I thought that that was the most boring part of it. Playing Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker as your first Metal Gear game is like watching Kamen Rider Decade as your first Kamen Rider series. Like, you don't even know what the hell's going on. You don't know who any of the characters are and you don't get any of the references to other past series. So, it may sound like I don't know anything about the Metal Gear series. Which is pretty true. I didn't know anything about it until a couple years ago. When I first played Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. So let's define the Metal Gear series. Metal Gear is a game series that started on the popular Japanese computer, the MSX2, in 1987. It soon became known as the father of stealth action video games, and with this recognition came great success. Creator and director Hideo Kojima had directorial control over the first Metal Gear game, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, it goes on and on and on. This streak of directing games continued until his last game with Konami, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, where shortly after it was published, he left Konami. But through all these games, he was able to amass a crew of game developers, artists, and programmers that were able to create his own development company known as Kojima Productions. Kojima Productions' first game was Death Stranding, and from what I can see, it released to mixed reviews. But I'm sold, honestly. Kojima's team has brought me so much entertainment that I can't help but check out this game. Kojima and his team seem to be universally known for their immense attention to detail and dedication to their craft. But let's get back to my Metal Gear story. Time passes. I keep hearing about Metal Gear Solid Online. I even play a little bit of Metal Gear Solid 5 when it was free on PlayStation Plus. Moving on a couple years, basically 9 years, I got my hands on a PS Vita. I had heard from a friend that Metal Gear Solid 3 was the best Metal Gear game ever created and maybe even the best game ever created ever in the history of mankind. And I knew that there was a Metal Gear HD collection on the Vita. So I put two and two together and procured the collection and I was ready to get playing. As of April 2020, I would complete my first playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 3. And I was blown away. I had to have more. I immediately started playing Metal Gear Solid 2 that night and beat it. N not in the same night, that would be too much. These games were something else. I procured a copy of Metal Gear Solid 1 later in the week and I banged that out too. I looked back into my mind and remembered that I had Metal Gear Solid 5 on PS4. I had to play it. 
Oh, oh, wait. That's right. I deleted it. For Fortnite. Fortnite. Why? In a desperate search for it on the PS Store, I saw that the Definitive Edition was on sale for six bucks, actually. You don't have to tell me twice. I downloaded it, played Ground Zeroes, and I'm actually still playing 5 as we speak. The only Metal Gear game I can't play right now is 4. I don't have a PS3 or 4. Either way, now I'm a full-fledged Metal Gear fan. Yup. I love these games so much that I'm going to make a couple videos about them during the course of this May. I mean, I got nothing better to do. I'm locked in the house all day. Damn quarantine. Huh, I just dated that video. <laughs>